Hello everyone, back at you again with another video. This one is about the YAML this package. When I found this, I was really excited because I have trouble finding out and remembering all the different YAML options to do what I want. And sometimes you just can't beat a good GUI interface for things. So this is an, uh, an add-in, an RStudio add-in uh, for the package YAML this. Instead of YAML, it's YML, I believe. Uh, let me check here real quick. YAML this. Yeah, yeah, so it's just YML this. And then it comes with um, several options. You can actually write out and inline code your own YAML header for your R Markdown file and then use that. Um, there's, there's a lot in this package. I have not even dug into this much at all, but I'm probably going to have to do that for a future video. But anyways, so YAML this, what I really like about it is it has this add-in. If you go to your RStudio add-ins, all the way down to YAML this, you can write a new YAML section for your R Markdown document. So if I want to make a new R Markdown document from scratch, just now starting, and I want to have all my options set as I begin my analysis, I can go to the YAML this, write new R Markdown or YAML file. It'll open up this uh, shiny based GUI interface. So I can type out my name, the date, uh, subtitle, Let's call this YAML this. Uh, we want HTML output. You could set a bunch of other options. Um, and because we're going to have HTML, we can set HTML options. We're going to export this, all these options we're setting. We're going to set it to an R Markdown file, which means we're going to have it in the header, the YAML header of the R Markdown file. We could put it onto the clipboard or we could have an external YAML file we read in. I don't typically do that unless it's something like Bookdown but R Markdown, we're gonna have it in our YAML header, and we're just gonna call this R Markdown file YAML. And so I don't have a template to use for R Markdown, but that's an option too. And then let's set HTML options. And this is one of the things I loved about it, is that it shows you the defaults for all of the options in HTML, but you also have your own. You can manually set uh, these ones that are like code download to false. You can set it to true so they can actually download an R Markdown copy of your document instead of having just the HTML document. So if you want to do something for a more reproducible distribution of your analysis, you could do that as well. Um, you also have the um, ellipses so you can add additional arguments. Like if you have a custom one from another package, you could do that. But I really enjoy all these different options. Um, let's set highlight to... Zen burn I like, and then theme, um, darkly, code folding, I don't want to care about that, TOC, true, float, true, um, there was one more I wanted to set, where is it, it was download, I was just looking at it, there, code download, true. All right, so I'm done with these, close. So now we have our HTML options. We can do our markdown options. We could set up different stuff in here, runtime shiny or whatever, language, resource files, um, LaTeX options if we're gonna go to PDF, citations if you got your bib files. You know, again, great interface for this type of stuff. Parameters for your parameterized R markdown reports. But I'm just gonna leave it basic and simple for now. So it creates my new file, a hey, HTML document, it's got its subtitle, it's got its title, it's got a dynamic date, you got your floating uh, TOC, you got your theme, highlight, code download, and let's just, and it, thankfully for me, it doesn't include the same default um, stuff it normally puts into an R Markdown document. Normally I don't like that. In this case, I actually do want it, uh, just to show like an example. Um, so let me just copy this stuff. All right, so let's just knit this and see what it looks like. All right, so we got our table of contents. It's floating. We got, you know, our dark theme. We got Zenburn code highlighting. We got our title, subtitle, dynamic date. Great. So all that stuff was set through that interface and code download. We can download the R Markdown document. And let's just do that. To here, all right. And what do you know? It's exactly the same stuff. 
So I really like the YAML this add-in. It's really great for starting off a new document. Um, I typically will use this also in conjunction with things like the Esquisi package. I I'm probably pronouncing that horribly. I don't speak French. But um, there's this package that I use uh, for ggplot builder. So if I have a data set in here, you can use this package or this add-in to build out your own um, your custom, own custom plots, and you can coerce data types. You can have your you can select different data sets that you have. It looks at the at the built-in ones too, but if you have your own data set already loaded in, you can use it with that, and it'll give you all the variables, and you can play around and build your own um, custom plots like this. If I could fail, yeah. Um, Mm -mm -mm -mm. Facet. Let's just do this and then color by facet. Or color. Oh, anyways, so yeah, you can play with these different um, things and then it will let you fill in all your other options again through a GUI, GUI interface and pick your color. Um, all of these options that you have available to you and you can exclude data until it finally just gives you the code that you can download. So you can just download this, or you can insert it directly into your script, copy it to your clipboard, save your plot to a picture, and do whatever you want with this. So this, I use this as an easy way of just building off, building up your um, your visualizations before you do a lot more of the nitty gritty inline customization. Because sometimes if you're just typing ggplot and then um, you know geom point, the aesthetics, mapping all that stuff for some of the basic, just getting a plot started, it's kind of annoying, and sure, you could do code snippets with tab stops, but this is just, again, really friendly to just get something down and made quickly. And then you can go back in and edit it as you want. So I find this to be a really cool add-in as well to use in conjunction. Like, if you can make a template, use a template. If you can do something that automates a large chunk of your workflow, or at least gets things started for modification later, I just prefer to use things like that, at least initially, just to get something started before I can modify it heavily. So hopefully you make use of those. Um, oh wait, that, that last one for the ggplot, uh, this is the package name, E-S-Q-U-I-S-S-E, -S -S -E. I don't know, I don't speak French. So those two things, um, really useful for just getting an R Markdown document or analysis started, um, YAML this and Esquisi. So enjoy.